Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor. And today, I've got a tag for you. There was a tag created by Matthew over at Mayberry Book Club, a fantastic booktube channel you probably watch already. And if you don't, go over there and check it out. I'll leave a link below to Mayberry Book Club. Anyway, he created a tag called the My 10 Biggest Books tag, where you just show your 10 biggest books. I got a lot of big books, this is true. So a couple things I should mention before. I've got a couple honorable mentions I'm gonna show. And I'm showing them because I'm doing this by page count, which can be deceptive. But it seemed like the easiest thing to do. Also, I can't seem to find my copy of The Stand. I know I've got it around someplace, but I don't know where it went. It would definitely make it onto this list, but since I don't have it with me, I'm leaving it off. Oh well, sorry, The Stand by Stephen King. That one's a really big book. Also, I didn't go through all my books because a lot of my books are in boxes, and the boxes are in another building here on the vast estate, and it's raining outside, and I didn't want to go out in the rain and get wet. So, I'm not counting all those books that are books that are in boxes. I'm just leaving them and I'm just doing the books that are handy. You know, cuz I'm lazy. I'm lazy. That is true. Uh also to the great disappointment of many, I'm sure, I am not including any of my comic books even though I have ginormous omnibuses. I'm just going to stick to regular print text books. You know what I mean, non-comic books. Uh, yeah, just prose books. I'm just sticking to those. I know this is a disappointment to many. I know what you guys really want. You want me to shamelessly whip out my giant man thing. I know that's what you want, but I'm not going to do it because I've got my dignity. Not much, obviously, but I've got a little bit of it. And, oh look, here it is. My giant man thing. It's a little frightening. That is true. It's a little unsightly, my, my man thing. But I'm not going to count comic books, so I'm just going to put this one away. We're not counting that. Right now, Matthew at Mayberry Book Club is just like, oh, man. Why is he doing this tag? Of all the booktubers in the world, why is he doing the tag? Sorry. I just thought I'd class up the joint. Anyway, I will continue now. Seriously, as I always am on these tags. Dead serious. So, the honorable mentions, and I'm doing these honorable mentions because these books, even though their page counts aren't quite what the others are, they're really, really, really big. Um, like, I have to mention Otto Penzler's gigantic anthologies. Now, page count wise, this one only comes out to, what is it? 1,000, no, 1,100 and something. Uh, 1,110? 12. This is 1,112 pages, but they're all double columned. And if you look at these pages, you will see that actually this book is much, much bigger than a normal 1100 page book. This is huge. But page page count wise it didn't make it in, but it should. So this is going to stand in for all of Otto Penzler's. This is his big book, uh, the Black Lizard big book of Black Mask stories by Otto Penzler, editor, edited by Otto Penzler. It's one of his huge anthologies. His anthologies are awesome. I put that aside. I'm also going to honorably mention this other gigantic book which is 1,160 pages long, and that is the big book of science fiction. This is a true mammoth, uh, because again, double columned pages. This thing is uh, huge. I'm actually going to be reading this uh, later on this year for my, for my mammoths, for my year of the mammoths. I don't, I mean, this is a mammoth to end all mammoths. Look at this thing. This will take me into 23, probably, but it looks fantastic. Big book of science fiction. Um, 
I probably will be reading nothing else at the end of the year. So those are my honorable mentions there. They are honorable, unlike the giant size man thing. Um, so let's get right on to the actual list. At number 10 uh, is going to be this Barnes & Noble Fancy Pants edition of Jules Verne and his seven novels. Jules Verne's seven novels. Uh, this one is, how many pages is this? This is 1,196 pages long. It has, in this omnibus volume, uh, what does it have? Five Weeks in a Balloon, A Journey to the Center of the Earth, From Earth to the Moon, Round the Moon, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Around the World in 80 Days, and The Mysterious Island. This thing is really, really, really big, and it's kind of beautiful. They did a, they did a wonderful job on this particular volume. Uh, it's just, it's just so, so Jules Verne. It's magnificent. I really like that book a lot. I know that I say that all the time. That's okay. So what comes in after Jules Verne? Uh, after that comes Les Mis. Uh, the different editions of Les Mis have different page counts. I grabbed this one. See, it's Les Mis. I grabbed this one just because it was handy. I've got another one that's fancier, like in the other room. And I've got my beat up old paperback copy, which is in a box in that other building over there. But so I grabbed this one. Um, this one, I think the page count is a little lower than those because it's bigger and there's more room on the page for words. Uh, and this one comes at 1,222 pages. Uh, you will get, like I said, editions that are actually longer. Um, I love this book. It's a magnificent book. I was surprised I still had this beat up copy, uh, this old hardcover copy. Is this an old Barnes & Noble copy? I bet it is. Yeah, it is. And this one's the one that was translated by Charles E. Wilbur, which I think is an old-timey translation. So there's that. That's Les Mis. Next comes Varney the Vampire, which is actually really gigantic. This is Varney. Uh, they have Varney in two volumes here, but uh, it is all one book. They continue the page count uh, through both of these books uh, because it is one book. It's just so damn huge. They didn't want a big book this size. Varney the Vampire, the classic Penny Dreadful. I will be reading probably in April, March, April. Yeah, probably, because I think I'm going to be reading Shogun in March. I'm going to be doing a video. You know, I have to do a video on everything. And so I'm going to be doing a finalized my final video about the mammoths I'll be reading because I have to space those out carefully because they're going to take up so much time. And so this one is probably going to be in April. Yeah, because March is Shogun, I think. I think. If I'm remembering correctly. Sometimes I don't remember correctly. Uh, so that was Varney the Vampire. Uh, that is followed by, uh, at number seven, the Mysteries of Paris. The Mysteries of Paris, famous old French novel by Eugène Sue, uh, which I have not read yet. I'm really looking forward to it because it looks amazing. Uh, this is the Penguin edition. This one clocks in at 1,363 pages. Did I mention Varney was 1,349 pages? I should have, but this one is 1,363 pages. Varney's actually bigger because it does have the double columns but you know i'm taking the easy way out so yeah the mysteries of paris this just looks like so much fun this looks like a fun book that's the mysteries of paris now for number six i'm going to bring out a library of america volume this is melville uh, this is, which volume of Melville? Is this a third, their third volume? I think this might be the third volume. 
Yeah, this third volume. Okay, this is the third Melville volume. I have all the Melville volumes from Library of America. This is standing in for all the Library of America books that I have because I just didn't want to pile them all up because these guys are deceptively long. They look, you know, like a normal size, but they've got this really thin paper. Uh, this one is actually 1,449 pages long, this omnibus volume. This one has Pierre, Israel Potter, The Piazza Tales, The Confidence Man, Uncollected Prose, and Billy Budd. So it's got a lot in here. Um, a lot of Library America volumes, they're compact, but they pack so much in to their volumes. So this is standing in for all of them. Because the Library of America volumes tend to run from about 1,800, excuse me, about 800 pages to about 1,500 is where they usually top out at. So, yeah, this one is right there uh, at 1449. And that'll stand in for all of the Library of America. Uh, the next one is everybody's favorite big book. Well, maybe not everybody's favorite, but it's an awful good book. This is War and Peace. This is the first translation I read of War and Peace. Uh, this translation is by uh, Anne Dunnigan. I actually like this translation a lot. I like this better than the translation I read last time, uh, which was a newer Penguin translation. But I think this one is actually really, really good. Uh, this particular volume is 1,455 pages in this paperback edition. Uh, different editions, of course, have different page counts. Uh, but I really like this edition a lot. It's the first one I read, and I enjoyed it tremendously. What a wonderful book. So the next book, number four, is The Family Mark Twain. That's what this is. You're just going to have to take my word for it. It was upside down. The Family Mark Twain. Uh, an old tiny copy of the family Mark Twain. This one is 1,461 pages. And it's got a lot in here, actually. Um, like a ton of stuff. Uh, it's got um, some essays about Mark Twain. Uh, it's got Life on the Mississippi, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, uh, a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, but it has selections from Puddinghead Wilson, Tom Sawyer Abroad, it has a bunch of stories in it, more stories that I'm going to mention, um, just a lot of stuff in this book, The Family Mark Twain. Uh, so this is a really cool book. I think this was from the... When was this published? Because now I'm curious. How old is The Family Mark Twain? It was published when? I don't even, it's like one of those books that won't tell you easily, wants to keep it a secret. I don't know, it's old though. So that was that. So that brings us to number three, uh, and that would be Clarissa, which is this big monster penguin volume of Clarissa. Uh, this is 1,499 pages of just Clarissa. I will not be doing a Sunday Penguin anytime soon on this because I haven't read it. And I haven't read it because it's a book called Clarissa and it's 1,499 pages. So I'm like, do I really want to read Clarissa? I mean, I mean, I know it's good. I've heard it's good. But is it good enough to like read that much book, it's a time investment spent away from other books. I will probably read it eventually. Um, this probably would be the year to read it, but I've got a lot of other really big books to read. The next one, number two, is this book. This is the New Oxford Annotated Bible with the Apocryphalia, with the Apocrypha, the Apocrypha, expanded edition. And boy, is it expanded. Now, just the Bible itself is 1,553 pages, but it has all kinds of extra stuff at the end. It also has some really good maps, I have to say. Um, they did a nice job. Uh, Oxford did a good job on this. So, yeah, good job, guys. Um, 
this is the revised standard edition, I guess. Anyway, this is big. Some kind of religious book, I think. Uh, number one. Number one. This next book is real big, guys. It's big. It's so big, I'm almost afraid to show it to you. You might be frightened and run away, but don't worry, it can't hurt you. It's not really there. It's just on screen. But it's pretty scary, this one. It's so damn big. It might, it might hurt somebody. If you don't lift this book right, just correctly, you can strain a muscle. Not me, because I'm so incredibly strong, but average people. You know, an ordinary person might hurt themselves. This book is 2,443 pages, and it's a big 2,443 pages. This book is the annotated Shakespeare. So this is every Shakespeare, everything annotated, which is why it's so ginormous. It's kind of sagging because it's so damn huge. This is so big. It's got everything in it. There's Shakespeare. Look at me. I wrote all this. And it's, you know, it's really cool. Don't drop it, Mike. It's so damn big, you'll hurt yourself. Look, it's got pictures and with the annotations. And it's, uh, you need like a big desk or something. And it's got the nice plates. Uh, it's, I mean, it's got, it's got everything in here. This is the most impressive Shakespeare ever. I mean, it's hard to fit into your purse or your bag. So, you know, you probably won't be hanging out on the bus, you know, reading this. Wow, look, dude, this is cool. You probably won't. I mean, some of people would. Some people would. But this is, this is too big to do that easily. Um, even I wouldn't carry this around. And that's, that's saying something. This is, this is really big. That's definitely the biggest book I've owned ever, and the biggest book I probably will ever own. I hope this thing, this thing's really big. So, apologies to Mayberry Book Club for taking your dignified tag and turning it into, well, this. But, what do you do? You, you tagged everybody. You did. I heard you. You tagged everybody. And so, you know, that includes my stupid channel. Sorry. You'll think ahead next time. Next time he'll be like, I tag everybody except for Michael K. Vaughn. Don't do it. Don't, everybody except him. But next time, you'll know to do that. Okay, guys. I will catch you next time. I don't know that I'll be here tomorrow. It's not out of shame or embarrassment. It ought to be. But uh, I just, my work schedule is crazy this week. So I will probably be here the day after tomorrow. Probably. Okay, guys, I will see you next time.